In this tutorial, I will talk a little bit more in detail about the interoperability between Vasari and Rhino and how the geometry can be moved and reused within Vasari and show some possibilities and some limitation with this interoperability. Let's start within Rhino where I will talk a little about how you should construct your model if you wanted to use it for more than just the exterior simulation like solar radiation and wind simulation. So this is important if you're going to use it for energy simulation. As an example here I had just created two simple boxes that I have union. They consist of trimmed surface but no overlapping surfaces. So if I try to select everything and go to file and say export selected and give it a logical name make sure that I'm using the set file format and the inventor export option here in Vasari I want to import the model create a mask go to Vasari say import import cat choose the right import units in this case meter select the file just exported and the positioning is not that important in this case, it's just an example and say open and here we have the imported geometry from Rhino and it is very important to import the geometry into a mass if you don't do that you cannot use the geometry for some of the simulation within Vasari and when I've imported I say finish mass and now it tells me this mass only contains mesh geometry that means that it only consists of surfaces. This is because the geometry inside Rhino only consists of single surfaces and not a closed poly surface. When it only consists of surfaces then I cannot create mass floors of the object. I can try to create mass floors and nothing happened. Let's see if some of the analysis work. Let's try with the solar radiation here. Select some of the faces and make it run the analysis it seems like it can work with the solar radiation close try with the energy and it doesn't seem like it worked if the energy model was working then it should be divided up in different surfaces with openings so it seems like this doesn't work the reason for this is that this model is not a closed poly surface or solid object back in Rhino as we can see here, it's not union all these surfaces. They are not a poly surface. So if I want to create this into a solid object that I can use for energy simulation, then I have to join all these, these single surfaces. Select them all and just write join. And when we select the object and look at properties, then we can see it's a closed poly surface now. So let's try to export this one instead. Go to file, export selected give it a logical name, make sure it's a set and the inventor export back in Vasari, create a new mask go to Vasari icon, say import cat, select the file the closed poly surface file, make sure the units are correct in this case the positioning is not that important say open, or just move it a little bit away from the other one and say finish and this time it doesn't came up with this warning about mesh geometry so it seems like this object is better let's try to make it into mass floors select every levels in the project and press OK and then we can see it actually create an energy model so this means that it have to be a closed poly surface when you want to use the model from Rhino as an energy model let's try to just say show mass form again and select the object it's like a dead object and this is even more dead. If I want to have another shape, I could either export again from Rhino or this new function in the beta tree. If I select the, the object within the editing mode of Mars, then I can say explode the object. And then I actually can select the surfaces and drag them within the editing mode. But I could also say finish Mars. So what I want to show here, if I select the object outside the editing mode of mass, then I actually can edit the geometry. So this geometry is originally from Rhino, but now I actually have the option of editing it within Vasari. That's a huge improvement compared to the Beta 2 version. 
and if we try to show the mass zones then we'll see it's a real energy model. If I try to do the same with this explode function with this import model that is not a closed polysurface then it will disappear so to say. I select it, I'm in the editing mode, say explode and say finish and again there is something wrong with the geometry I can try to select it at, and now we can see the shape hands is not the same as this one and I can try to pull in some of these and then the geometry will disappear because it's not a closed object so there is no relation between this surface and the surface around this single surface so when I try to drag this one then the object crash the last thing I want to show that is a different shapes for export. Here I have some kind of freeform extruded form. I also have extruded a polygon, a simple box, a L-shaped box and a cylinder. This one I have imported into Versailles. As we can see here, the box, the polygon, the cylinder, the L-shape and the freeform. And here I want to show some of the limitation with the different types of geometry or shapes. Go to analyze and say show mass zones and as we can see with the first ones here with the simple geometrical shapes there is no problem with the function of parameter dividing just to show it under energy settings there's this option of divide parameter zones and parameter offset so when i remove this one it will remove the parameter division in the model but as we can see with the freeform it have problems with dividing the object up. So it, it works fine as long as it's simple forms, but when it's based on a spline or a number of arcs, then it cannot create this automatically dividing zones. Or else the different shapes works fine regarding the energy analysis and as well as the wind and solar radiation simulations.